Hello everyone, this is Lumbo Moss Raven, and welcome to the Poisonous Potato Update. The update we've all desperately wanted. <laughs> uh, all jokes aside, this panorama is actually pretty cool looking, and I really like the, uh, the update name being up here with the Minecraft title. I think that's just a cool feature, regardless. But yeah, as you can probably tell by this panorama, this is a very wacky April Fool's update. I think this is the best one they've come out so far. And I'm super excited. We're going to do a probably a two part mini series of trying to beat the new boss <laughs> that this adds. Uh, so this first episode, we're going to be getting geared up and get a little bit of a base set up. And then the next episode, we'll go and find the dungeon and see if we can beat it. So let's go ahead and create the world. We're going to call it Potato Paradise. We're going to play in survival. I'm going to allow commands just in case I need them. Uh, we'll keep it normal because why not? And yeah, we'll hop right into it. Uh, yes, uh, I did play a little bit just to kind of wrap my head around some things, but we get this little starter chest with a poisonous potato plant, which I still don't know what this does. Uh, we got some regular potatoes, a couple poison potatoes, some bone meal, a hoe, which is very important, and a water bucket. Well, some torches, which is good. So we'll pack all this up and ooh, a bit of a lag spike. The world's loading in. There we go. That should be good. So what we're going to do first, we're going to chop down a couple trees and then we have to find a particular poisonous portal. I'm also going to grab up some stone real quick. And now that we got some stone tools, I'm just going to gather up a bit more wood. And then I'm going to gather up some coal as well. And there we go. I got all my steak cooked up. So now I can start looking for this portal and this should hopefully be fairly close to spawn. Uh, I've loaded up two worlds prior to recording, and both of the portals were pretty close to spawn. So I should be able just to kind of look around for a little bit and hopefully find one before too long. And hopefully before it becomes nighttime, because I'd rather not have to deal with all the mobs. Well, it's not a portal, but I did find a village. So I guess I could probably grab a bed from here, which would be good. And whatever else that is that this village has to offer. Got a library, which is cool. And it looks like we can actually access the portal right here. We just need one of these little blocks. I don't know exactly what this is called. Uh, we'll open that up in just a moment. I want to grab a bed first. So what we need to open the portal is a poisonous potato. And there we go. That's that's the portal right there. All right, I went ahead and slept the night away just in case. It was dark on the other side, uh, so we don't deal with mobs. But let's uh, go ahead and just hop right into this precarious potato portal. Whoa, oh, golem went through. And we're right inside of a village already? <laughs> That's cool. Uh, they've got their own shrine here. There's a, a potato child. There's a bat tato. <laughs> There's mine shafts. This is very weird. Very weird indeed. <laughs> uh, we've got some cool light sources. We got plenty of different wood types, which is nice. And I guess we could probably just set up in the village here. No need to build a base, I guess. We've got a really weird hedge maze here and a perfect house. You don't see this <laughs> layout very often anymore, but I guess I can uh, commandeer this as my base to be perfect. Okay, there's a whole other part of the village over here. We have a frying pan, which, which is cool. I think this is what they were teasing. Oh my gosh, I can cook the potato in the frying pan. Oh, that's so cool. That is actually a really cool model we got in here. Fletching table. Oh my gosh, <laughs> the fletching table. Somebody tell Cub. Fletching table, eventual clarity, honey impurities into faint clarity. I don't know, impurities. <laughs> it went off the screen. <laughs> I need iron. So we're going to hop into this mine shaft over here and the rest of the village, I guess, and uh, see if we can find some iron. But I'm going to need a little bit of wood first. I can bridge over there. Okay, I have nearly a stack of planks. That should be enough to get over there. I love the bat potato. That is just a flying potato. That's funny. I love it. This is one of the best April Fools updates ever. Nothing like lava just stopping to remind you you're at the bottom of the world. All right, just enough planks to make it across. We've got a really wacky mine shaft. With like cucumber. Oh, oh. Okay, goodbye. Oh gosh! Get down! Huh. Oh, good. Oh no! Oh, that's a lot of stuff gone. 
Well, that's why we set our spawn. Oh god, that sound is horrible. Oh god, that is gross. Ah! Ah! Okay, well, I'm dead. Whoa! That is a really cool screen. Oh no! Is it the credits? Oh my gosh, what is this? What is happening? The nightshade stir. We are not alone here. Longbow MR? Ah yes, I see it now, the player. Hugging at the starchy strands of reality. You think it knows? Oh my gosh, this is just like a parody of the credits. <laughs> Whoa! That was the most dramatic respawn ever. <laughs> oh my gosh. That is such a sound. Oh, really? Stop! Oh my goodness, my, well, my stuff's still there. That's good to know. This is brutal. These mine shafts are brutal with, like, no armor. Okay, I'm just gonna switch it to peaceful for a second because this is ridiculous. I can't do anything. I just wanna get my stuff back, okay? I got boots. Those weren't my boots. Where'd those come from? Um, somehow I got poisonous potato boots. I'll put them on. <laughs> uh, and it seems like I got most of my things back. I'm missing my sword. Not great. Oh! A water bucket. I want that. My, uh, my boots turned into mashed potatoes. <laughs> Legit turned into mashed potatoes. <laughs> okay, well, the boots are worthless. That's good to know. And to be expected. All right, I've switched the difficulty back to normal. Uh, hopefully we don't die right away. That would be annoying. But these mine shafts don't seem to have a lot to offer. I haven't seen a single chest. So I might actually need to just head up. Because we're currently at the bottom of the world. And everything cool is going to be up top. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and do that. It's like, this is grass. Oh my gosh, there's, a, there's more of the village up here. Oh my gosh, he's got more armor. Perfect. I will take it. Just missing boots. I had boots, but they turned into mashed potatoes. Yeah. All right. Well, now that we've made it up here, we can do a little bit more exploration. Get a good feel for this. Now, real quick, we're going to hop in creative because they've got this whole tab, which is barely on here. They could have put it down here, but no, it's just barely hanging on here. <laughs> And look at all the things. There are so many things in this. Like there's potato peels and peel blocks. There's paintings. Poison. There's a headpiece. There's all these mobs. There's a ton of blocks, different ores. Like we can find just about every kind of ore. Vicious potatoes. That's comforting. There's poisonous potato ore. What? <laughs> uh, there's all the wood set. Uh, there's roots. There's a potato peeler. There's a lashing potato. Toxic beam. Okay. Like, there's a ton of things. Big brain. And I don't even know how to make half of it. Poisonous potato hammer. We need a blaze rod and a poison potato. This is... We can actually just make that. Oh, I wonder what those do. Oh, did those take you to the dungeon? I wonder if that's what those are for. Potato bakery. Redstone, copper. I don't know what that does. Like, there's a lot to this update. Which is why I've opted for a little mini-series rather than just one little, a little one-off video. Okay, it's off in that direction. And it broke. Alright, well, I think that's going to lead us to the dungeon, so we know it's going to be off that way, which is cool. But I need to find iron. That's why I came up here. So I'm going to keep heading up. Hopefully I can find like a cave or something and see if I can get some iron. And after a little bit of wandering, I've managed to find myself another village. So I guess I could probably hunker down here for the night. And uh, see if they've got anything cool. Ooh, there's a blacksmith. That's really good. All right. What does this blacksmith have to offer? Maybe we base here instead. So it's up here on top. Ooh, we got an iron pick. Don't know if that's going to be worth anything here, but we got one. Yeah, we can just base here. It's fine. 
the nice open potato fields. Oh, these are the the violent potatoes or whatever. They do? Huh? They shooting at me? I see you. Oh gosh, yeah, they shooting at me. Okay, we leave those alone. Should be the treasure. Oh, I can get one ingot. That is annoying. That is incredibly annoying. It could have been great, but it wasn't. We got buried treasure. That could be good. We got a clock. Uh, some paper, which is probably not very good. Uh, some suspicious stew. I suppose I could eat this because it could be fun. Poison and night vision again. Cool. All right. Well, it looks like I'm still going to be on the prowl for some iron. Oh, I think there's some right there. All right. What is this? Yeah. Iron. Perfect. Finally found some. Seven pieces. All right. I can work with that. I can mine up some of this. I should be able to make a furnace. And then I can craft myself some iron goodies. All right. So one of the things that we need is a potato peeler, which is crafted like this. And with the potato peeler, we can shear the ground. <laughs> we can get potato peels. But we can also shear sheep and get potato peels. <laughs> Oh, it's so good. It's 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 so good. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and make a chess piece just because I, I need one. <laughs> I only got one iron left right now, but if I can get myself a little bit more wood, I could probably turn that into a shield, which will probably help tremendously against monsters. But I think for now, I am actually just going to go ahead and look for the dungeon. And I think I'll just set a base right outside of it for now. And then... The next episode, we'll, we'll go and raid it. I've got one more eye, and I believe it was off in this direction. Yeah. I just threw that over the void. That was dumb. And it didn't break. Bye! Well, I'm gonna just harvest up a bunch of potatoes, and hopefully I can get some more poisonous ones. I got one. That'll give me two more eyes. Potatoes are pretty abundant, so... Uh, it shouldn't be too difficult to get a bunch of poison potatoes. That being said, I have way more potatoes than poison potatoes. Boo! Is it all potato biomes? That's cool. Oh, there's just ancient debris just hanging out here. Oh gosh. Oh, this is not good. Don't go in that water is not a Lazarus pit. Okay, I am getting really close to this thing. I think it's below me. Because like I was over there and it pointed this way and now it's pointing back this way. So I think it's below me somewhere. Aim for the slime. Boing. Nice. <laughs> it's a very hazardous biome. Uh, gross guardian things, poison water. Sticky slime. A powerful potato. Oh! I just saw a boss bar. What? Mega Spud the Lucky. Oh, he's like real close too. We find it? Ah. There it is. <laughs> okay. Well. That's good to know. So I think I'll just go on top of this. All right, so it's just a big box. That's cool. You're a witch. Oh, goodness me. Stupid skeleton. Ruined my groove. Now I'm going to deal with poison for 30 seconds. All right, in the spirit of Minecraft, we're just going to live in a hole. I hate that the sound for this is like eating mixed with mud. <laughs> it's gross real gross. No, oh, you're not allowed in here. Gone. Goodness. Give me some right here. Let me craft my door. Oh, stop laughing. Get out of my house. Thank you. She sounds so upset. Yeah, now you're poisoned too. See how you like it. Get out of here. 
part of one like a potato i've got my roots all dug into the ground here and i've got myself all sorted out i got my little bed and furnace and stuff right here and then over here i've got potatoes big big shocker <laughs> and then i've got all my stuff here i got a bunch of stone which is pretty good uh, i'm still pretty low on iron but i am uh, thinking for next episode we can go and oh gosh that's a creeper i'm talking to my audience bro Buds everywhere. <laughs> Just uh, fix this. No one needs to know. Yes, uh, I'm thinking next episode we'll really work on getting the iron gear and things, and then we'll go and tackle that dungeon. As uh, I'm gonna need to record these pretty quickly before the snapshot goes away. So yeah, uh, that's the end of this one. Stay tuned for part two, which will probably be uploaded tomorrow, and I will see you all then. Take care. Bye for now.